Hey friends, I'm back with another video and this one hopefully is going to be quick. You might know the Daily Hot Zone quests, uh, Franklin Teak over here by Guild Lobby. Well, I spoke to him and he's asking me to go to Baron Du Hanging Gardens. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, feel free to leave a corrected pronunciation in the comments below. But Barindu Hanging Gardens is where we're headed. And you might ask, where the hell is that? I've never found it. So if you haven't found it, I'm going to show you an easy way to get there. So first we're going to go this way into the guild lobby. And I'm three boxing. So of course i got to make sure all three tunes get in there. All right, we're in the uh, guild lobby. Now we just got to make sure all my guys do the auto follow thing. Now this is going to be tricky because this zone is always very laggy. It might help if I do a hide corpse because sometimes there's a bunch of corpses in here from people, I don't know, sacrificing themselves or something. Another thing is I'm going to make my alts face the floor. Look at the floor so that way because... They don't need to see. They're just auto-following, right? So this is what we're going to do. And hopefully they keep following me. And, uh, you know, I'll let you know how it goes. So we're going here towards the back, towards where the guild hall entrance is. But we're not going to the guild hall. Instead, we're going to the Magus over here. And you won't even need an Adventurer Stone uh, to go to this destination. So heal the Magus. And we are going to Nidaria's Landing. So click that and you'll get teleported. And okay. Oh, and this character auto followed perfectly. They're right here. And then let's see this one. And this one did too. So sometimes facing down actually works. It also helps if you just don't like go super quick. Avoid sharp turns. So we're here. Again, we're going to do the whole auto follow thing. And we are going to talk to this other Magus over here. It's right by where we landed at Nadaria's Landing. And we're going to hail him. And now we're going to Natimbi. And if I'm pronouncing Natimbi wrong, I don't think I am, but if I am, feel free to. Tell me what your interpretation of, of that name is. Now, for some reason, I am not able to hail this person. I think it's because I'm a rogue and I was accidentally hiding. Yes, that was the case. So here we go, Natimbi. All right, we are at Natimbi. I'm going to be sure to have everybody set to auto follow. And here's where the bard is going to really be important. Also, another thing is if you press number f five on your number pad. So let's say I'm facing down. Hit number five. See it. Make sure I'm facing straight forward. Even if I'm facing up, I hit five. I'm facing forward. So what we're going to do now is we're going to swap out the cell, the regular cellos. Uh, and we're going to go movement and we're going to go cello's song of travel. And that's the one that makes you invisible and makes you levitate at the same time. And helps you run faster. Oh, what am I doing? I'm doing the invis song like I need it. I, I only need the song of travel. So here we go. We got everybody, you know, uh, doing... Cello Song of Travel. And we also are going to make sure we got our drum. Yes, we got Cello's Drum of the March on this character. So now we can safely cross the water without having to, you know, fall in, worry about swimming or any of that crap. So here's where we're going to open the map now. We're up at the top of the hill. And we want to go to uh, Qu Quinimi, 
whatever a court of something or other uh yeah some of these everquest words i just don't know how to pronounce them and i rather not pronounce them incorrectly because then i'm just looking for a fight aren't i somebody who you know pronounces them perfectly all the time is going to be like you're pronouncing it wrong you must be stupid so i'd rather just not pronounce it incorrectly if i'm sure that i have no idea some i risk it because i feel like i've got a general grasp on how the word should be pronounced so i know i'm at least close but with that one no freaking idea so we're in kanimi or yeah it looks like kanimi to me I know I pronounced it differently before, but after looking at it again, I would say it's Kinimi. Uh, so here we go. Song of Travel again. And consider things. Oh, it can see me. Damn it. All right. So we might have to fight a few of these things. So here's where we're going to start making sure we've got our tank set as main tank. Our monk is going to be main assist. We're going to make sure our cleric mercenary is active, which they are. And we're going to make sure that our rogue mercenary is active, which they are. And also, I need to make sure I've got assist keys. So let me move that begging button. This one doesn't have an assist key to assist this particular player character. This particular individual... Is this particular individual the unfit mother? Me? No, no! Okay, this particular individual is unscannable. Sorry. I know I got a bad habit of quoting stuff. Okay, assist. Ten gen. Alright. Make sure this one's set. Oops, misspelling my own name here. Teb. Man, not not doing great here. Assist 10 gen. Okay. Do ability 7. What's ability 7 on this character? Kick. All right. And uh, Melody is doing one, two, uh, one, two, three, four. That looks good. Um, so now we got everybody set to auto assist. And all the mercenaries are active. I should be able to get through here pretty well without too many problems uh, and again let's see where we're headed Burindu and I think it's one of these yeah Burindu hanging gardens so we are almost there and okay so not all of these can see through invisibility it's just some of them and luckily that thing that could see it through invisible wandered off somewhere else I think I'm actually going to make it without aggroing anything. <laughs> Watch as I get attacked by 50 things. No, I, th I think I think we're going to do it. And let's just double check. Yes, we are headed to Burindu. And then we're going to have to kill some more fiends in Burindu. So this is going well. So you see, it's, it's not a whole lot of zones you got to cross. It's not that hard. Even three boxing, having, you know, my characters auto follow me and it's still working out just fine. So again, who's on this team? There is a monk. It's a lot of DPS, actually. A monk, a rogue, and a bard as far as player characters go. And then there's a, a, a tank mercenary, a rogue mercenary, and a... Clark mercenary to keep us all alive. <laughs> I was about to go back. No, don't go back. Go forward. And I need war fiends. Just making sure that these guys can't see me. Because if they can't and they're not war fiends, I don't really need to fight them. What song? Am I using so Song of Clouding again? Ah! Jesus, I'm going to have to fix that. Oh, there's a war fiend. Uh, okay. 
Well, there's a pather over there, too. There's another war fiend over there. Heck, let's kill this pather. Ah. Okay, we'll kill the war fiend instead. And if we get the pather as an ad, that's fine. All right. We'll change our song from the invisibility song to uh, the the four songs, the, the buffs. So we got a haste, damage shield. What the hell? Where where are you running off to? Oh, the uh, this weird blood beast thing is what we're fighting now. I couldn't even see what it was attacking. And what's this rib cage thing? I don't know. Maybe it'll sell for something. <laughs> My guys aren't actually hitting it. There, now, now the hell it hit it. Sometimes you gotta do that. You gotta like run past because they're standing in the middle of a stupid mob. So we killed one war fiend so far. See, we're already a, uh, one fifth of the way done with this quest or task or whatever you wanna call it. Why am I still levitating? Oh. How did I get Dead Man floating? It must have been I grouped with one of my necromancers or something. Or sometimes random necromancers come along and buff whoever I have standing around. Let me make sure that... Okay, intricate staff is what I have now. Sometimes I'll have like old outdated weapons on a character. Just because I kept playing them a lot, and I, I hadn't bothered to upgrade their gear. And I've got so many alts that I forget what's what and who's who. But today I decided I wanted to level up Tengen, because Tengen is my Draken um, crafter. And so I want to get them some more uh, AA points in crafting, which means I might want to up the AA percentage to let's do 30 so they get more AA and that way I can you know blacksmith um, mastery and stuff like that so I'm less likely to fail maybe put some points into salvage so this is a pretty hardy group I don't see us dying at all even with uh, multiple pulls or ads or whatever. Oh, let's also, <laughs> the uh, bard is still holding their, uh, is still holding their drum. They got a fabled Yakisha and an intricate short spear. That's better. Or they could use a Velium. No, it's the other one's better, yeah. Better if they're dual wielding than, than wearing their drum. More damage. And my little uh, halfling uh, is el also a tailor, and a halfling tailor makes these sweet bags that I have on my. Uh, monk, the Leatherfoot Haversack, 10 slot, 100% weight reduction with a weight of only 0 0.6 capacity, size giant. So really sweet bags, but they can only be made by halflings. That's why you always want to have a halfling tailor. So I want to level up that halfling rogue a little bit because they can... 
Oops, morphine coming. No, I didn't say morphine coming. I said morphine. Get your head out of the out of the weird drug gutter, man. Maybe I'm just being fez, because when am I not stupid? I just realized I keep doing intimidation and maybe I shouldn't because then they're gonna like try to run off. Also, I believe I have some poison I could be using and I, I'm not using it. So that's a wasted potential of DPS. Oh, look. A Mastrung's spiked arm guards. Is that for a quest? I want to think that that's for a quest, or maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't have any stats on it. I'm pretty sure the rogue's going to have some poison too. So let's see if they have theirs active. Okay, the rogue does have Bite of the Shisar active. What level is that one? Okay, level 55. And they have Warlord's Bane. Oh my god, that's a lot of minutes for Warlord's Bane. That must be a bug. Because I don't know, man. It doesn't even show how many, um, like, triggers it has left. I don't know. I'll leave it, though, for now. And this, this one's got, oh, Fabled, Serrated, Bone, Dirk. So these are going to be coming out soon, guys. Fabled, I got these, like, last year or the year before. I don't even know anymore. But they're pretty good, especially, you know, I'm still only level 58 on this rogue. And 57 on this bard. So let's go back to killing stuff. Yeah, maybe I'll use my fist wraps for a bit. Fling the javelin. I do like the new improved uh, graphics on EverQuest 1. Have you guys noticed it? I don't know. I don't know if you all have, but look at how sharp the detail is on my uh, monk's armor. It never used to be that sharp. Ever. I mean, especially if you look here when, when the light's reflecting. It just looks really sharp now. I mean, sure, it's still the same basic graphics, but... You look at, uh, like, this cleric. A lot of times things were blurry. Until they did whatever upgrade that they did. And everything looks so crisp, so sharp now. Like you could see every pockmark and pimple on the ogre's face. I mean, look at that. He's like extra ugly now. <laughs> you could see every little crusty booger hanging out of that big old nose. I really like what they did. You know, even, even the walls, more detailed. Because same computer before they did this, it's not like I'm thinking of graphics from years ago on my old, you know, crappy computer. No, I'm thinking of the ones from just uh, last year. You know, often, often times I would see things and they would be looking uh, blurry, especially in POK. Like a lot of times, the the words on the uh, the portal stones. You know, the POK stones would be kind of blurry. And now everything is sharp and crisp. Thank you, Daybreak, for that little update. I thought it was pretty cool. So we've done three morphines so far. Need two more. Ooh, somebody got a level up. That thing died before I could target it. It, it doesn't help that I've got a bunch of crap on my desk getting in the way. I really, I really need to clean up sometime soon here. I got just a calamity of nonsense going on. A war medic? Let me guess, that must be a healer. There I go, using intimidation again. That's not a good thing to do. At least the bard is snaring them, so 
it should help prevent too much chaos if they do get scared and start trying to run away. <laughs> yeah, those little pet guys die so quick once their masters die. Another War Fiend. Sweet. So what's funny is I do realize, yes, I probably should have been playing the Rogue sort of as the main assist because they're not really getting behind the mobs to backstab with the way I'm, I'm doing it. Like at the moment they're behind them because I'm actually standing on the same side as the... Uh, Warrior, oh, but not, not, not anymore. Sometimes I forget what weapons I have. Like, what are these? What are these? Yeah, that's, that's the downside to making too many characters. And, and just making too many alts. So, I think it was the rogue that leveled up because they were 58 before, so they're 59 now, which is pretty cool. All these hallways look the same. It's easy to, like, go the wrong way. Oh, crap. Something is red to me. Crap. What level is he? Uh, 63. What the hell is he doing here? He doesn't even con as like a rare mob or anything. A mass strong eviscerator. Well, he's not eviscerating anybody today. We're kicking his ass. Sure helps that we got some poison proccing too, I'm sure. I think we eviscerated him. That's right, you punk. Oh yeah, and the Bard has Spider's Bite too, also. Uh, so that's great. So everybody's got Spider's Bite going on. So we're all doing good. We all got our poisons. Again, I'm going the wrong damn way. I get so annoyed at myself. I don't even recognize the jewelry that I have. Compartmented Palladium Trio Ring. Sounds pretty cool. Except I only have Taphodite. There are better gems that I could give my monk. And I wonder who leveled up now. Was it the monk? Yes, it was. They are 60 now. And, and hurrah or hooray. Or Haru, or her whatever. We completed our quest. And we're also, but we're getting uh, aggroed by a wandering, wandering pather, whatever. A knock, dark lurch. All right. What is this? I don't recognize this journal page. I don't think I need the journal page, so I'm leaving it. Someone in the comments is going to be laughing. Oh my god, you didn't loot the journal page, you fool! You know how rare that is! I, I, I have no idea. I don't know what it is, so... I don't need it, don't want it. So let's see if I... The reward for the quest being completed is something I can use or not on this character. I'm wearing ornate uh, shoulders and cape and a ruined bolster belt. Wow, that's an old type of thing. I'd probably do better by getting a intricate combatant's belt because it's only uh, one less 
haste, but it's got way more stats. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab that intricate belt. I'm going to slap that on. And this in, uh, ruined bolster belt. Kind of better off going to a newbie character. <laughs> uh, or something. Or, or toss it in the bazaar. So each of, each of my guys gets something. So let's see. Intricate. Ornate. Um, well, this one's got the flawed belt, which is 26% haste. I might uh, replace the shoulders because they're only they only have ornate. So combatant pauldrons, yep. And they could use the the intricate belt too, but I can get that later, you know. And let's see. Oh wow, this one's got the flowing black silk sash, the fabled, thirty six percent haste. See, I'm gonna be in less of a hurry to want to replace that. So, you know, more haste. Uh, and, oh, they only have ornate cape and ornate shoulders. So let's get them the intricate cape. I wonder if extended enhancement or enchantment actually works for bard buffs. Does anybody know the answer to that? Please, I'd love to hear your answers in the comments below. So let's take a look actually when uh, the heart spell here refreshes Th 13 or 14 something like that we'll replace the cape with this one because I don't know if that was oh that one might have been already affecting it anyway okay it it sure as hell didn't make a difference <laughs> um, yeah I don't know I don't know guys does does extended enhancement affect bard buffs or not i'd love to hear your debate your answers in the comments below and oh, we're getting attacked by a bunch of stuff out of nowhere i didn't expect that i didn't think there'd be mobs spawning at the door right here well i guess we're almost done i might be uh leaving or just ending the video after this little skirmish there we go we've we've done the barindu task uh now you guys if you didn't know how to get there you do know now you could just go through the guild lobby and use the magus there and port to uh nadaria's landing and natimbi and then you just cross a couple of zones and boom you are here just be sure you can invisibility yourself or sneak and hide or something or bring along some invisibility potions because you might want them and be sure to also consider things because there's a couple of mobs here and there as we saw that can see through invisibility so you can maybe wait until they leave like they path away or or just kill them whatever you just don't want to be running past them and then they aggro and they aggro like 10 other mobs along with them and then no matter how good a gear you have you might not survive as we found out when i had that wicked train i believe it was with dabria in runny eye it's like every freaking goblin in the zone was coming it was like that whole thing in lord of the rings where uh, Mary just drops that bucket of rocks or whatever in that well and every freaking goblin in Moria wakes up and wants a piece of their ass and that's pretty much what happened every goblin wanted a piece of my ass so of course uh, Dabria died that time again remember Patreon I could really use some more patrons haven't had any new ones in like two months so you guys are gonna get sick of me talking about it but I just you know if if you've thought about it but you're like no I I don't think I'd be getting my money's worth tell me tell me what you would like to see on the patreon that would convince you to uh, become a patron I'm I'm willing to sit 
listen to suggestions and ideas. Uh, but again, leave a like or a thumbs down if you hated it. Um, check out the Discord. Check out the Twitter. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow.